all, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa, I'm a crude free YouTuber that is trying to have a year long, no buy. And today I'm going to do my fifth update on my no buy, I'm also going to do a get ready with me and um, yeah, I think we just get started and I have actually bought some refills this month as well. If you want to see more about my no buy and um, all the updates and shit, I can leave. I must have done a playlist. Yeah, I can leave it up here. So today I am using the side by side from Nabla. This is one of my favorite palettes that I have in my collection. It looks like this, and I just love this. So. I think we just get started. I'm using this eyeshadow primer now. This is the Tone Activator from Kaleidos. And one of my favorites. It's like, I think it's so thin. And uh, I don't know. I guess it works with uh, my eyeshadows, but yeah. I'm super thrilled about it. Maybe because the one that I had before, the Milani one, is my super favorite. So I don't really know <laughs> what to use. I've used most of the colors. And I don't know which way I want to go. Yeah, we we'll just I'll we'll just do something. I might leave it down in the description what I'm using. We will see. Now it's Astrid that is crazy behind me. So my no buy is still going good. I, it like feels strange that it's soon half a year and uh, that I haven't bought any new makeup items except for mascara this year. It feels so, so strange. It feels really good like for my self-esteem to uh, have done it so far. So that feels really cool and good and just amazing. And uh, now it's like, it feels like I'm going to be able to do this. Now I can like watch people using palettes that I want. I can watch their videos and not feel like too sad about it. So I guess that is great. And also it's fun to see how much products you're actually using when you are not buying something new. And I've actually run out of another makeup product. And I've been so bad <laughs> with my tracker on my Insta story. I need to fix that, but I did empty out. I don't even want to show this. This brow glue from NYX. It still is some products left, but this is so freaking disgusting. This used to be clear. As you see now, it's brown. And I think it's more like powder in this than it is um, the glue. So it. It wasn't possible to use it because the brows just look disgusting. <laughs> so I decided to buy a new one and I bought an oldie, uh, the Control Freak from NYX and I have forgotten about how much I love this. This is like the best eyebrow fixer there is and it's so freaking cheap and I do really love it. It really keeps my brows in place and I do have long eyebrow hairs and they don't want to stay up. So that one, I love it. Another thing that I soon... Oh, do you hear the chair that I'm sitting on? Another thing that I soon need to buy a new one of is a new eyebrow color. And I don't know which one to buy. Right now, 
I am using this one from Beach Cosmetics. This is the Brow Dew in Light Blonde. And as you see, I have only used one of the shades almost up because this side, it's too warm for my brows. They just look, it doesn't look good. And this one, it's the one that I have on today and I have loved this one. And yeah, it's super <laughs> empty. And first I was like, okay, I can use the other side, but I don't think I want to because I don't like Especially now when I have bangs, it doesn't look too good when the eyebrows are not that good in color. So I'm going to buy something new, but I don't know what because even though like eyebrow products is the one thing that I have always, since I started to use makeup of course, used up the most of I think because I do fix my eyebrows at least five days a week usually seven days a week it's something that i use up <laughs> like i have never found i always try something new i have tried anastasia i have tried yet yeah, this one from beach cosmetics i have used the shadow from lh cosmetics in the infinity palette and i have used one from kvd so I always like buying a new one just to try it out. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm going to do. And it bugs me that I did really like the one from Anastasia Beverly Hills. But that was also a duo. And it was just one of the colors that was really good. And for some reason they don't have that color in like a single. I don't know why. So yeah, I don't know. This one from BH Cosmetics is was like three dollars. I want to take a shimmer shade, but I don't know which one. Do I want some like pink sheen to this one? Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should go with a pink one. Other things that I've bought and that I do have noticed that I really like to buy. I have never been a person that do things with my hair. I do want to have like a haircut or I do want to have a hair that looks really good and I have always been like jealous of people that have really good hair. Like you see them and like yeah that looks amazing. And I know that uh, Probably all the people that I see that has this amazing hair probably fix it to be amazing every day and I have always been like no I just want a hair that looks amazing without doing anything but I guess there is very few people that have a hair that looks amazing just by itself so this year and last year I did try to finally start to actually do something about it and start to trying to learn to really curl my hair and put in products that can make my hair look the way I want. And yeah, on a normal daily basis, I usually have my uh, hair up in a ponytail because it's uh, in the way at work. And I'm totally fine with that, even though I would love to be able to have it down, but it's going to annoy the crap out of me if I have it down at work. But yeah, I'm tr I have tried to like curl it sometimes and a little bit like that and I think that you have no noticed. So this month I have bought two, two new styling tools and I'm just going to cut out the crease and then I'm going to show you. 
so the two new things I bought, I'm going to see if I can take this in English. It's one curling iron wand? Curling wand? Iron? I don't know. This is from Remington. I have another one from Remington. This is a 32 millimeters. I have used this today. And I might have a little bit of short hair for using such a thick curler, but um, I just want something to happen with my hair. So I guess this is going to look better the longer my hair gets. And the other one that is from Revlon is this one. This is an, yeah, you see, hot brush fan brush not the fan brush oh, Jesus fucking Christ uh, yeah you see so this I blow dry my hair with this and the thing I like about this one it makes my hair not frizzy like at all I usually have a really big problem with frizzy hair but the, it doesn't make my hair frizzy it looks really good but it doesn't give the volume that I get when I like blow dry my hair with my head upside down uh, so I guess I have used this two times. So I guess I just have to like learn how to use it But I do like it So yeah, now I dropped another thing <laughs> And that is two things that I have bought this month when it comes to my hair and I don't think this is like uh, the best hair curler thing you have ever seen but uh, I do like it because it's it looks a little bit more like playful maybe and just something is going on with my hair and I'm trying to make something happen to this boring hair and with my bangs I actually do think <laughs> that I like it and uh, the only thing is maybe that I think it's already getting a little bit long and I don't know if I'm going to do what I always did when I was younger and had bangs and cut it myself or if I actually should pay the hairdresser money. I guess it's going to end up with me cutting it on my own and it's going to be a little bit funky. I know like one time when I I think I was around 15, 16 when I had bangs. Oh, I'm going to take away a little bit of fallouts. And um, I cut it like. I did a little bit like this with the scissors, and it like <laughs> looked really odd. So I had to cut it even shorter, and it, it ended up with me having super short <laughs> bangs. But yeah, I still do like to have bangs the most of the time sometimes I like look at myself in the mirror and it's like what the fuck have I done with my hair but I, I, I think I do like it actually some days I love it some days I hate it okay, I just think that I should put on my <laughs> foundation and other base things off cam and then we maybe can do the under eyes together because I don't know if I have that much more to talk about see so yeah, I think I will do that so I'm just going to do the under eyes and I think I want to go with because on my eyes I have used half time burnt sienna and magic moment so I think I'm going to take half time actually on my lower lash and maybe burnt sienna we'll see how this will look and I have really started to like to doing my base makeup I don't know if it is because of my no buy so I have like been really digging into the blushes that I have but Eyeshadow is fun, but I also think that base makeup is starting to get more and more fun. And I guess it can be because now I'm really trying to use... Okay, I often use a blur from 
Nabla because these are the those are my favorites but um, yeah and also <laughs> this may be strange to say this now but I am so sorry for not have been posting that much I know it was like one week I posted four videos I think it was and I felt so freaking good and then the week after I didn't post a shit uh, and that was last week when I'm filming this and I hate to talk about how I feel in every damn video because I am sick and tired of hear, me, hear myself talk about it and I'm sick and tired of edit it and I just can't imagine how sick and tired you must be to hear it but it just feels like shit it's the fan over and over again and I did thought about this yesterday that since February 2020 I think it has just become new shit when one shit is over the next one is coming and um, I just want to say shit to you and, and uh, yeah. And, but it's like nothing of the shit I can do anything about. So, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> but I don't want to talk about how shit I feel all the time because it's not fun to hear about that. I know that, so I'm trying not to talk about it, but that is like one reason why it doesn't come in the videos. And okay, I have three or four videos on my computer. I have added two of them, and I have uploaded them to YouTube, but there is where it ends. Um, I haven't fixed thumbnails, I haven't fixed like the description, and it's just... I don't have the energy to sit down and do all that shit in one day. <laughs> Sometimes I do, right now I do not and it like starts to annoy the crap out of myself that I can't finish things right now and I'm so sick and tired on, of myself but at the same time I know this is maybe just how I work right now and I maybe should just feel it's okay. And I don't want you to, uh, I do not push, m push myself too hard when it comes to YouTube because then it would come up videos even though I feel like shit, but uh, it don't, so I don't push myself too hard so you don't have to worry about that. Just for some reason feels like I want to explain myself. And that I haven't posted anything on Instagram for like, I think two weeks. I feel like shit about that as well. And it took me a week and a half to answer in comments and mm, I don't know. I just have a hard time to just do things right now. Okay, um, I should just use a lipstick for this now and then I'm actually done. For my face, I did use this contour stick from Isadora. I do really like this. I put it on and then I have my powder over and I think that is really giving... I think it looks good. For my blush, I did use Truth from Nabla. I thought this would maybe go good with eyeshadow. This is pink with a gold tint to it and for my highlight awesome from Nabla as well but now it's time for the lipstick and this is like I don't know what's happened with me I do not like I still do love my reds but um, maybe I should do a red but other like more intense colors I'm not like super thrilled but is it going to look a little bit off with the red one but like I know how annoyed I'm going to be if I'm going to take a really matte 
dry lipstick. It's going to annoy the crap out of me because we are going to shop some food after this. And I'm going to eat later and I... Maybe I should just take my little more from uh, LH Cosmetics. I guess this is going to go. Good. So yeah, uh, that was all for my fifth update on my no buy. I hope you liked it and I'm going to try to make something more fun out of these no buys. I don't know what to do, but I'm trying to do something. And I didn't want this video to be super long, but I think it got kind of long. Oh yeah, I do really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!